I didn't show it in the video, but we ended up pop testing all of the injectors, which are right here. Now, when you pop test the injectors, sometimes what you'll find is during assembly, you'll get some, you'll get a little bit of trash or grit in the nozzle, which you then gotta take it all back apart and clean it all out and put it back together, or you might get a faulty nozzle or something like that. And what you're trying to do is make all your injectors at the same pressure. So what I do is I buy these little bags of these uh, shims. They are varying thickness. I have some that are 50 thousandths. I have some that are 10 thousandths, some that are 25. And I pop test all of them in their factory uh, pressure settings just to get a baseline. And mine were all around 3000. So what I did is I went ahead and I shimmed them all up to pop off at, I was targeting 3,500. Um, I ended up getting two right at 3,700. So what I did is I just made that my new target. I put them all at 3,700. You can see right here, this is some of my uh, preliminary pressures, you know, 32, 32, 3250. And one of them was a complete failure at zero. It wouldn't build pressure at all. And that's due to a faulty nozzle. Uh, luckily, I, I have plenty of those in stock. So we ended up shimming them up to uh, 3,700 PSI, which they were all at 3,700, uh, almost exactly right on the money. And the way we go about doing that is um, right over here. I have a little pop-off tool and we affix the injector to the injection line and I can pump this up and I can watch the pressure climb and I can monitor exactly where the pressure pops off at. In our case, it was up at 3,700. And um, then I can witness the spray pattern, see if the nozzle's dribbling at all. I can see if the reset pressure is, is acceptable or if it leaks down completely. So a uh, super useful tool. And uh, that's how we go about <clears throat> making sure that all of our injectors are, are uniform across the board. So that way you get a nice, clean idling engine. And uh, it also makes a, quite a bit more power if the engine is balanced as far as their, you know, uh, injection, um, the amount of fluid that is injected per cylinder is the same. Um, we know that our injectors are balanced. And since it's a VE pump, it only has one plunger, so the um, the way that works is it's one plunger plunging the fluid, making pressure, and then it has a distributor that distributes and times which injector gets the, the delivery from that plunger. So we know that that's balanced as well. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. are done now we're going to go on and finish wrapping up the cylinder head we're almost done porting it then we're going to wash the whole thing and paint it and we're going to load it up all this nice new hardware uh, we got 60 pound valve springs here uh, so our new governor spring at 3200 rpm uh, we're going to be able to hopefully take full advantage of that without having to worry about you know floating any valves uh, these valves are going to stay 
nice and strongly seated uh, into the head and they're not going to float so anyway that's where we're at and uh moving on <laughs>